say please and thank you, but when you shout commands at those personal digital assistants like Siri and Alexa, are you asking nicely? Believe it or not, you may actually be sending the wrong message to your kids. So here to help us mind our please and thank yous in the digital age are two etiquette experts, Mr. Manners, Thomas Farley, and Faye Dame Moishan. Dame Moishan, the founder of Social Skills. Good morning. Good morning Thomas. to both Good morning. of you. Nice to have you here. Um, so there are some people who can't live without these personal digital assistants, but you say you should be a little cautious. I think it's time Terry to take a little bit of a step back. Mm -hmm. You know, we're in the very early stages of all this. I think in five years, we're going to look back and think this is so primitive. But now I think is the opportunity to say our screens are already a conversation killer. I think these, while we're trying to smarten our homes, I think they can actually dumb down our conversation. Ooh. So important to kind of take stock. I will tell you, Faye, so we have an Alexa. We got it a few weeks ago. Only because of the show, everybody seemed to talk about it. Uh -huh. We took it out of the living room because the kids were yelling at it and fussing at it. At first, I thought it was fun because they were, you know, giving it commands and they were dancing. Uh -huh. But after a while, they're just constantly fussing at, at Alexa. So mm -hmm. you say, though, that there's a way to in, incorporate kindness into Absolutely. That. You can incorporate it by, by role modeling, how to ask Alexa various tasks. And for me, I agree with Thomas, but for me, as kind of the harried mom of a two and a, four, a, two and a five year old, it's really helped me because I feel like I get home from work and I'm that mom who's constantly on my device. My, oh, I have to set my timer, get the device. Mm -hmm. I have to or add something to my shopping list, get the device change my thermostat, get my device back out again. And for me, the Alexa has taken that out of my world. When my kids look at me, I'm not constantly connected to You're my not device looking down. because I can say, Alexa, can you add such and such to my shopping list? And the other thing is, the kids would see me on the device and then ask me, oh, I want to play a game. I want to okay, do this. Okay, so you I say you find that. the good in it because it's here. Yes, but, I, I really enjoyed that. But it's also important not to just be shouting out things left and right at yes. Alexa or Siri. Sorry for all the Alexas that are going off right now. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> and, but, you know, it's been wonderful for my daughter because she sees me interacting with it. Mm -hmm. And even more so, my husband is has been more pleasantly interacting with all of us, asking, could you please, Alexa, could you please tell me the weather this morning? Hmm. I, thought, I thought it was interesting, Thomas, you were saying, too, to save your questions for an appropriate time. Is that maybe a solution to try to kind of balance this out? Yeah, I think the idea that we're now, instead of saying, go ask mom or go ask dad, we're saying, go ask the assistant. And I think that's unfortunate. So this is something that we can uh, use for the weather. We can use for those basic questions that maybe mom or dad don't have an uh, mm -hmm. answer for. But by the same token, if we're going to the assistant for everything, we're destroying the conversation between families. I'm sure a lot of people agree with you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I love it for the mundane tasks, the mun mundane day-to-day. -day. Turn on the music. By the time I've got found my phone in the house, gotten to the right app, I got four text messages, oh, and a news alert went off, and I'm back on my phone for another five minutes. So then finally, do any of you guys have a line then, maybe uh, when you can or cannot ask it something, or, you know, times when, you know what, we're powering it down. Is that something that's important to talk about? I'd say certainly family dinner time, power it down absolutely, because if you're all barking commands, you're ruining dinner. And also, anytime you have guests over, I agree with as that the entirely. noise level goes up, right, you're screaming, and frankly, these devices aren't sophisticated enough to understand what you're saying at that volume level anyway. You wind up repeating the command 10 times. Mm -hmm. yes. Just go and do it. Yes. Turn up the music yourself. Yes. That's good advice. You're saying yes, so you agree. I agree entirely, <laughs> particularly when people are over. You should try four six-year-olds around there. Alexa, Alexa, play this, right. play that. Alexa's right. like, would you guys go sit down? <laughs> Thomas and Faye. She starts saying that, watch yeah, out. Exactly. <laughs>